The basic idea was simple. Hard to execute, but simple. Create the best in category of everything you can imagine, whether it's what you want to have, and it's a dining experience, your entertainment experience, your cinema experience, or your shopping experience. So let's, let's take a look. First, a little bit about shopping. You know, Karen Irwin leads our merchandise development group, and she has developed an assortment of product around our character families, which represent some of the best in the business. Marvel, Seuss, Transformers, Despicable Me, and of course, Harry Potter. So in order to give those places a suitable home, we're gonna to totally renovate the CityWalk uh, retail store and create a completely new venue right in the heart of CityWalk that is an interactive retail experience that would be like none other and house the family of properties that we have that are also like none other. Let me go over here to switch places with you for a sec. And let's bring these back up and talk a little bit about the new Starbucks. Terrific. So, first of all, we start out with a world-class design and then we take Starbucks from the second floor and we move it down to the entrance of our city. So we're moving it down, doubling the size, over 130 seats for your enjoyment. And this will be located right next to our next concept that we're gonna be talking about, which is Cold Stone. You know, Starbucks people are really great at brand definition. I mean, they, they, they do just a terrific job. They're re-imaging Starbucks for this location. 2,400 square feet, great seating up, you know, area outside. It sits right underneath the canopy as you walk into CityWalk, so covered seating for Starbucks. And if you're anything like me, you've got to start the morning with a Starbucks. It's right on your way into the park, and that's exactly what you'll be able to do at the new uh, Starbucks. So, from Starbucks to ice cream. Oh. When you're on vacation, I think you ought to indulge. Now, Cold Stone does that for you. So we start out with making your favorite ice cream from scratch in front of you. We have this located right again in the entrance of our city, right next door to Starbucks. If you're like me, you like to mix your own ice cream. You like to do it at a really cool place. And that's what's gonna happen here. It sits right next to Starbucks, right on a really great corner, just under the bridge as you come in and out of, uh, of City Walk and a great place. And if you don't like ice cream, then surely you must like frozen yogurt. And if you don't like either one of those, I'm not exactly sure what's the matter with you, but <laughs> you, should, you should have that looked at. Well, this is a fun twist on dessert, and no pun intended. We're talking about quality ingredients here. We're talking about uh, certified kosher, gluten-free, it's vegan. This uh, Minchies will be located in our Lombard Street, which Mark is doing a terrific renovation on. Lombard Street, as you know, goes from the lower part of City Walk up to the upstairs uh, exit of the cinema. It's going to be totally reimagined, lit at night, re-landscaped, and new venues along the way, with Menchie's being one of them. Great little patios outside, grab a yogurt with the family, sit down, go to see a movie, grab a yogurt, sit down. It happens to be right next door to the uh, bread box, which we'll go to next. Brand new concept. And when you talk about the, the concepts, when we imagine these concepts, there are three really simple things that we focused on. Right, and, and the name says it all. Handcrafted sandwiches, bread box. This is your corner deli, Mark. I mean, this is where you go and you get your traditional sandwich or you get that gooey new craft sandwich. It's, it's the very size of our business. Secondly, fresh bread all day long. We're gonna be making fresh bread, not just one, but multiple types of bread. So when you come in here, you're gonna really reminisce of the, the, your favorite sandwich shop that you grew up with. Located right next door to the cinema. In fact, as you exit the cinema, there's a window inside the cinema looking into the bread box. So you can't miss the opportunity or the enticement to go have a sandwich at the bread box. Really fantastic. And that takes us on to our new Italian concept. You know, we have a really great Italian restaurant here right now, Pasta Mori. But as we do with everything, we look for an opportunity to make it better. And we think we have exactly that. Pranzo is a working title name for our new Italian kitchen. We're going to take our Italian experience and kick it up several notches to something entirely new. When you go into this place, you'll have a vista right into the kitchen where you'll see them making fresh pasta every day to order. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly right, Mark. We want to show off our kitchen. You know, our, our theme here in City Walk, really, uh, we're talking about three things. We're talking about fresh ingredients. We're talking about made for you. And we're talking about made in front of you. So when you talk about our Italian kitchen, you'll see us making fresh pasta, simmering sauces, uh, flatbreads. Not only do we have a private dining room to the side, but all aspects of the restaurant, you're going to be able to see us doing the art of cooking. 
great location, right in the center of, of CityWalk, totally reimagined exterior. These, these next few venues I'm going to talk about really represent the heart of CityWalk. All three of them happen right in the middle of CityWalk, and our Italian kitchen is going, to be, is going to be one of the major features for that, and a great experience uh, in, in the Italian genre. And speaking of Italian genre, if you have not yet had a red oven pizza, well, then you probably have not yet had pizza. You probably didn't know that. You have not had pizza yet, so be prepared. Yeah. Well, we set out to make what we thought was going to be the best pizza. So um, this artisan-made pizza, the old world tradition of ingredients, is something you commonly see in a full-service restaurant in a more uh, upper-end uh, restaurant. So we decided to just take those ingredients, put them in a fast, casual environment, so we start with double zero flour, the filtered water, San Marzano tomatoes, buffalo mozzarella. Our oven, which is you'll see later on today, can get up to 1,400 degrees. We decided to keep it around 900, which is what makes our crust perfect. I told you you could do a lot of uh, food. That's There's good. an oven he's talking about. You'll see it a little bit later. Great little location. You walk up, you order your food, you see it, you order your pizza, you see it made right in front of you. It goes in the oven, you watch the truck, you go have a seat, they bring it right to your table. It's really terrific uh, pizza. And that brings us over to Antejitos, which will bring the streets of Mexico City to life right here in City Walk. It's festive, it's colorful, it's vibrant, and the environment matches the food. Yeah, and, and once again, we're talking about fresh sauces, fresh tortillas, um, skite, table side guacamole, tamales. The, this is the, really the heart and soul of the food of the folks in Mexico. We, we have an amazing restaurant, so when you go out today and you look to your right and you see that towering building, it has two kitchens, two floors, and two menus. All of the kitchens, you can sit around the kitchen and watch us prepare all the food from scratch. You'll see it when you go out. It is, a, it is a, an amazing structure. The interior is amazing as well. The fixtures, the furnishings, the space itself, the environment, the wardrobe, the presentation of the food, everything is just full of life and full of flavor. This is really a spectacular version and fits right into what we're talking about. We're going for best in category. This will be best in category when it, goes, when it comes to Mexico. 